course we had to make another video on uh, tearing down our E40D tranny. But we did get our center support out. A little uh, PB blaster, let her soak for a little bit. And, and it finally let loose and come out. So, but that's what water does. It just sticks them in there. No lubrication at all. Water's terrible. So, let me see if I can get this one out. There's one more down in here. This is uh, your direct drum and your uh, forward drum uh, support. Your third gear clutch is applied to this hole of these cylinders here, and then your forward clutch is applied through here, like that. I'm pulling this out of here real quick. See what that mess looks like. That's why when you tear these down and clean them up, there's a lot of work to it. People wonder why transmissions are so expensive to do, because this is what they look like. You want to make sure this piston is soft, it doesn't break off or anything like that. This supplies your engine brake band that's inside. I'll show you in just a moment. What I'm pulling out first is this is your second gear clutches right here. There's only two of them since it's just a small uh, 4.9 liter straight six. Now you get into the diesel, this plate will be thinner, and uh, these plates will be thinner too. See how you actually got a thin and a thick metal, the metal plate right there? See how one's real thick and one's real thin? They will. Some of them have uh, thin all the way through. However it comes out, put it back unless you physically know what you're doing because there's no map on how to do that or anything like that. So. If somebody did, hasn't been in there, put it back exactly the way it goes. If it's a diesel, you want to play with it, you can, but I'd recommend just putting the four clutch back in. Now here's your engine brake band that goes on this piston like this. That this anchors in the case that it pushes on around that drum like that. You pull it, pull it down from third to second, and this band will physically come on. Now here's a... Your intermediate sprag for second gear, this spins this way, will not turn the other. You pull it off, you look at it. You have a metal washer, some of them are plastic. If you buy a, a new kit, normally they come plastic. This is what a uh, sprag looks like. I want to look at all this stuff, because what's bad, this being in water, all these places like this are probably going to be bad. I want to look through here. See how it's already rusted from just setting and not being used and the water just sitting in one spot You know the drum sitting down in the water like that down in the puddle like that And that's why that does that you see your third gear oil this sits on here like that Down in there and that fluid comes out of that hole and goes to this hole and then that's what brings on this clutch right here Now this here is your third gear clutch So this has the same concept as uh, you can add more clutch to this drum too if you get the snapper now. Come on, snapper, get out of here. Now on the the forge though is what they did here. Instead of uh, putting thicker uh, plates here, they took this snapping groove and raised it up and down in this drum right here. So the diesel. To put more clutches in this drum, they'll put the snap ring groove up here and then you can just raise everything up until it gets up to here with more clutches and steels. 
But being that it's a six cylinder, it's got the weakest drum in it that they have. Probably got two clutches, three clutches max for third gear. See, and that's what they got. See. I'm shocked water hasn't affected these clutch more. Normally I can just take these, this material right here and just pull it off because water usually takes it off. But I can actually still add one more clutch to this drum. I'll get down in here a little bit farther and I'll explain that to you how you can do that. One clutch is really a big deal. So. Now this is a forward clutch that moves it forward. Oil pressure goes down through this hole here comes out of this hole right here and then pushes on this clutch right here to make this drum work like that now the diesel will have a four clutch in it no matter how you look at it. All the teeth missing off that clutch. Yeah. I'll get to that. I'm trying to get these some bitches. Now these, these right here, see how these teeth are, are warping them off right here? I'm going to go grab a new clutch and show you what it looks like. This tranny wasn't moving to start with because it this clutch actually slides into this like this to see if it was moving it was barely moving now I see it wasn't even hooking see the teeth on that see that'll fit down in there like that see well all of these clutches here there's no teeth on them at all they're, they're just totally gone now this could be from backing up and throwing it and drive before you come to a stop just constant doing that over the years will cause that uh, a motor missing, sitting there jerking all the time, going down the highway. Uh, that's pretty much about it. I mean, that's I've seen it before. It's kind of common. Let's get into this part really, really quick. I was talking about adding another clutch to this drum right here. We're going to stack this up. Like back where it was. We've only got three clutches in there like that, and then that's where that is, see? I can't raise my snap ring groove, but I can maybe get rid of this big old thick plate. So what I do is I, I go out my trailer, and I get a, a plate out of a another forward drum like this one, and then I get me another steel like this one, and I put it in there like that. I go get me a new clutch, not this one here, but another one, and put it in there like that. And I take and put that in there like that, and now look, look where that's at. Perfect. I can take, put that back in there just like that. And look what I did. I just added four clutches. I got four clutches in that drum now instead of three. So if you can get that plate right there, you can get them any training shop will sell it to you for 10, 15 bucks or less. Do it that way. But that's makes it a lot better training. It goes back to here too, back in the, for the diesels. Right here. Uh, all diesels have steel planets. This is an aluminum planet right here. This actually slides into the shaft that goes to your drive shaft. So, uh, all diesels are steel, gas, aluminum. Same way here, gas, aluminum, diesel will be steel. Diesel will have more than three gears. See how this has four, this has three. Diesel will always have four. So, Sorry, Sparkle. This 
snap ring actually holds the shaft uh, from coming out the back of the tranny right there. Sets in there like that. Snap ring goes right here. Here's another sprite right here. One way, like this will spin one way and lock the other way, will not turn. Now this spines into your low reverse clutch, which is this clutch right here. Right here. Some of them have a wavy plate on the bottom to soften reverse up a little bit. And then some of them don't, some of them just have the, uh, the standard five clutch. But if you got a diesel, they'll have seven. Uh, and they'll have a thinner plate here So you can beef it up by putting a diesel plate in it add more clutches Go out put the shaft This here is part of your parking assembly That uh, the park lever comes over and locks into it right here, so it won't move Exactly down in the case. So that's uh, all of the second video. So if you like it, uh, check out all my videos on YouTube, uh, precision transmissions, and all that type of stuff. Or if you need any help on any trannies, uh, give us a call. Have a good day.